Hello everybody, um, welcome to another video. This is uh, slightly different to the usual sort of uh, thing I normally do. Um, I'm using ScreenFlow on my G5 because I've got a really, really awesome thing to share with you lot. Um, I get asked quite a lot about um, themes for Lion and all, all things, how to install Lion on PowerPC, which is slightly ridiculous. But um, this is a OS X Lion theme for um, Mac OS X Leopard. So I'm gonna go through uh, with you today how to install everything and get everything up and running and a few little extra things I've decided to add on. Um, I'm recording this after the recording. So um, it's, it's I'm gonna have to catch up with myself here. But this is all of the stuff um, you have to download really. A few icons and only one package, net really, essentially. Um, I'm gonna put all the links in the um, description. This is the um, this is what you get basically. This is the actual theme itself. You got the installer and the uninstaller. So if you get fed up of it, or if you find a glitch or something, which I personally haven't, um, you can just restore it to the default Leopard UI. This is actually um, a theme that was made by someone. Not made. It was ported from a Snow Leopard theme, so it could uh, work on Leopard and on PowerPC Max by someone called Aquadoc. There we go. Um, on Mac rumors, um, so if if you're a member on there or if you just want to thank him, um, just say on there because all of the credit goes to him. Really, really awesome job. Quit out of that. So there we go. I just click on this now, and um, that's like a little JPEG image just showing you what it'll be like when you've installed it. So as you know, all the squared buttons and different gradients etc etc it works on leopard as i said before i believe it works on 10.5.2 and later but who doesn't have anything below that now this is just going to install within a matter of seconds you then have to log out and uh this is it after it doesn't look much different does it Everything looks pretty much the same as it did before, but um, this is only like 10 the actual what we have to do. As you can see there, um, you've got the squared buttons now, like Lion. And as you can see, this is definitely a PowerPC machine, dual 1.8 G5. And there is um, the menu bar with the different gradients, the different buttons. Um, it all looks really nice and then you've got this little full screen button which is a nice touch it doesn't actually make the app go full screen but it removes all of the toolbars so you've got more space to work with and I think that's a really nice touch okay um, next stuff to do then is to go back into our um, folder and um, I added a few things like um, App Store, Mission Control and Launchpad now, oh no, this is the bit where I tell you how to um, change in the About This Mac box where it says 10.5.8 this is how you can change it to 10.7.3 or whatever you want to be honest um, but this bit's quite important, you have to listen to every single word now, because if you if you do mess it up, then you're going to mess up every single install you're going to do in, in the future. So as you can see, you can't actually see there, but this string here that I'm hovering over now is product user visible version. That is the one you want to um, change. It says 10.5.8 underneath there. And then the one below that says um, product user version, I believe. And that is what actually um, makes the installer think what OS you've got on there. So you want to change product user visible version to 10.7.3 or whatever version of Lion's out at the time. And then you want to save as, you can't just save it because you don't have the right permissions. You've got to stick a dot list on the end and then you've got to save it to anywhere really. I just click the desktop, use plist and um, then you've got that file on your desktop. So then literally just drag it over replace put in your password and you're done so now when you go into about this Mac it says 10.7.3 
but I, you won't be able to download Lion apps. That's just for an extra little touch. You'll, you're still running Leopard. You're still the, all the installers think you're running Leopard. It just shows up as Lion in the About This Mac box. Another thing I did was um, app, uh, add the App Store. Now this is actually Bodega. Um, it's a really awesome app. It's basically the, the App Store, and um, you can get updates on your apps you've got previously. It'll just automatically come up. It's a really, really awesome application. I highly recommend it to anybody anywhere. Um, to change the icon for Bodega, you'll want to go into Candy Bar. You'll need Candy Bar to change the icons. And um, as you can see, it, it's pretty much App Store. Some of these apps are paid, some of them are free, just like the App Store. It's, it's really, really awesome, guys. And this little box here, you'll want to change um, in the preferences to say um, you don't want to uh, you don't want it to automatically update because on Leopard um, it's not supported the newer version. A bit of a bummer there, but um, it's okay. See, that's what happens if you don't click the preferences. Another thing I did, I think I go on to is it Launchpad now. Yeah, there we go. Launchpad. I've got the icon there. And Launchpad is just a... It's not actually Launchpad. It's just um, shortcut spaces, as you can see. But again, it just adds that sort of um, feel like you're actually running on a Lion machine. Um, again, you'll need Candy Bar to change um, that icon. And then Mission Control. I love this icon. It's uh, It looks really nice. I'm, gonna, I'm keeping it anyway, even without the Lion theme. And that is just... Um, expose as you can see it does a really nice job and it's a really nice icon as it is and you've just got to change the um, names of these applications if you want as well and um, for one final thing now then it's um, to change the background to the lion uh, wallpaper there you go now that if you don't ask myself that looks pretty much like a lion machine there you've got your app store launch pad, mission control, everything's all there and um, it really really does look awesome and then you go into about this Mac, you've got everything there it just, it's, it's really really good theme and I think it's the only one out on the internet at the moment for um, Lion so um, I hope you enjoyed this video guys and I hope you um, go ahead and install this theme even if you don't like it just just you know just to try it but um, that's all for now, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.